Allied Machine and Engineering is proud of our strong commitment to providing the safest work environment possible for all of our associates. In 1970, because companies were not doing enough to provide a safe work environment for their employees, the federal government created OSHA to oversee worker safety. Since then, employers have been working hard to meet the safety standards set forth by OSHA. However, Allied goes beyond simple compliance of safety standards. Our safety process isn't about what's required. We strive to create a safe work environment with a focus on respect for the individual and the well-being of all of our associates. Based on our proactive offensive safety strategy, Allied has worked a span of 963 days since our last lost time accident dating back to December 21, 2005. In October of 2007, Allied was awarded this prestigious Governor's Excellent Award for Safety, one of only six Ohio employers who received this honor. This video is not about safety statistics, awards, or production numbers. It is about our taking safety to a more personal level. Over the next few minutes, we hope to remind all of you why safe behaviors are important in the workplace and also in the home. It's always fun to be with my dad and do things with him. My dad's also my baseball coach. He's gone hunting with me before. It's, I like to do a lot of stuff with my dad. The day we found out that we were going to have a baby, which was last November, so we were really excited. How'd that go? It, it was a shock to both of us, <laughs> um, but it was something we've been wanting for a while, so it was very, very, very exciting. The things I enjoy the most is he makes us laugh. He really does. I mean, <laughs> he's very quiet, very quiet, but um, yeah, he does make us laugh. Our first anniversary, we spent goose hunting. <laughs> so those are, those are definitely the memories for me with my husband, um, is just getting out there and just, because when we go hunting, it's just, that's our only one-on-one -on -one time that we get. Um, and he's like that with each and every one of the girls. It's, hunting is where he can get that alone time with each of the family members, and that's, that's one of the things that I enjoy. It's mostly just watching him as, as a father interact with the kids and watching him teach them things and um, watching them, in particular with our son who's 12 now, uh, really absorbing it and picking up on it. Uh, he's fun, like Stephen was telling you, he's always you know, he's an optimist, he's always funny and lighthearted, and he's Mr. Fine in our house. <laughs> um, I like whenever he would take me hunting with him, even though I can't shoot, um, and when he would take me on the four-wheeler for just having good times. I would tell him it would be a good thing for him to be safe because it would be upsetting that he wouldn't be there for us. So he doesn't get hurt since I went around for a long, I went around for a long time. Oh uh, well, then we're going on <laughs> nine years, and uh, I still can't wait to see him when he comes home. And I like to keep it that way. <laughs> I think it's important for him to be safe at work because he's the provider of our family and he is the leader, and it would it would devastate us not to have him. It'd be really bad if he got a bad injury or something, because then he couldn't do anything at home. So that would be bad. So he doesn't get hurt and he won't be there? Because if he is get cut or something and we don't know about it, it, it will be painful when he comes home, if he doesn't make it home. Be safe at work because, um, so that would like he want to get hurt or something, so he should be safe. Like by like what he works with, he should have like safety glasses and stuff like that. My dad should be safe at work, cause if my dad were to get injured in any way, shape, or form, it could not be pleasant for my family, especially if he could not work for a long time. He need and if we were to lose my dad, that would be very devastating. This will be our 25th year of marriage. It would just be extremely difficult to, you know, someone that you've grown accustomed to and and um, that you've developed such a tight relationship with to be able 
you know, to just go on on a daily basis without that person to, you know, talk to and bounce things off of, you know, how do we handle this, what do we do. I would feel very, very lonely because some of the stuff that I do, like, includes him. Because if he wasn't there, who knows where we'd be. Because if something would happen with him, and not only if to hurt him, I wouldn't want that to happen because of not having him around, but loss of income, you know, I would worry about how to pay the bills, put food on the table for myself or him or the kids. Just it would be a big loss if something happened to him. So then, um, because how he coaches baseball, the other kids on the team need him too, so... That means that more than just me and them. It'd be very difficult. I mean, he has gone a lot, like I said, with working, but, you know, you, you know that they're coming home. But knowing that he wouldn't be there, it'd be rough. Wouldn't be good. It'd be horrible because he's my best friend and he's always making me laugh. <laughs> It would be hard because I probably wouldn't be able to get out and do a lot of things that I am able to do with him. It would be a lot different. I'd spend all my time with my mom mostly. I wouldn't have some of those special moments with all my dad. Going around it would be tough. Love it a lot.